Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to parts of Amberlin's new video. Okay, so we are currently at the mall. My mom um, is getting a secret Santa gift and I'm looking for the new eyelash perfume because this is her third perfume and I have the first two. So I definitely need the third one. And I'm just now starting my vlog, so hi. I just remembered that I did not start it today. So um, yeah, I was just like super distracted all day, but hello, welcome to a new vlog. So I'm at Macy's and they have like so much perfume, but yet no Billy. Maybe it's just because she has been talking about it, but it sounds like she is really stocking up on perfume again. I hope she doesn't get back to her 2019 collection. She does use a lot of perfume, but it just seems wasteful to buy so many just to collect them. Hey guys, so I actually just got home. Um, I have some clothes in the wash. My dryer is still not fixed, so I have to go to a different apartment unit to use their dryer. It definitely sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so I went to a liquor store. I got me some buzz balls I've never tried before, so I think I'm gonna drink those tonight. I'm actively trying to decide, do I wanna live stream? or do I just wanna vlog, or do I just wanna do nothing? I just don't understand why she would continue to show her drinking alcohol as much as she does. People do not like it very much, but it almost seems like it has become part of her routine at this point, so it is just her filming her day, which includes buzz balls of course, I would not go live when you are drinking. But I'm halfway through my first buzz ball, it's the sour apple chiller, and I've had this one before, so that's why I didn't do a taste test, but when I try one that I haven't, before taste test is coming folks why would you drink them all in one day you could have done one a day or just when you feel like one oh the lighting looks crazy is that better okay i have my second one the lime rita chiller which i've had before so someone on actually instagram told me try the watermelon so you have the watermelon and you're supposed to shake them. All right. It exploded all over me. Mmm, it smells really good, wow. Oh my God. Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Wait, this is so good. This tastes like juice. These drinks are pretty heavy with alcohol, but also the calories. This makes no sense to me. Why is she showing us her getting absolutely drunk just for fun? Okay, so we are now drinking my Choco Chiller, which has always been my, my favorite, but I need my hair up, so I'll be right back. Oh, so I'm actually editing this vlog as I go, so everything you guys have already seen has already been edited by yours truly, Drunklin, because Soberlin doesn't want to deal with her. Like, they don't 100% get along when it comes to editing, but like on a day-to-day -day basis, they love each other. But Soberlin does not like editing Drunklin, so... Yeah, y'all, I'm LOLing because I just realized I've been putting my buzz ball trash in my fridge. I think with the first one, it was genuinely an accident and then it just kind of became a thing. So I think the next one I'm gonna try, which is gonna be my fifth one and possibly my last, Strawberry Rita. Shaker, shaker real good, opener, and she squirts and she gets my fingers wet. <laughs> All right, smells good. Tastes even better. Oh my God, this tastes so good. I'm about to get the, I think it's Pina Colada Buzz Ball, which I've tried before, so don't need to do a taste test. Way to show everyone that you are not overdoing it with the alcohol. Hello, hello. Okay, so it is the next day and we are just, we're gonna act like last night didn't happen. It's funny how she pretends to feel embarrassed about getting drunk, but not enough to actually cut those parts and avoid the negative comments about it. So my hair's frizzy. It's currently air drying. It, like the top layer always dries first and then the bottom layer takes literally forever. So um, I wanted to just like make a few things clear. I do not smoke nicotine. I actually have only smoked nicotine one time in my life. It was when I was 14, 
I'm fixing to be 33. Um, a lot of people were confused when I said like I vape and stuff. I strictly just vape THC products. The good old Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10 type situation. If I really think about it, her saying she has been vaping since she was with Becky makes all the time she has been scared to take her medicine so unreal to me. It really does change the perspective of a lot of situations if you look back. It's not technically lying, but it does not make me trust her more when she tells us things, because apparently, she likes to keep big things out of her stories. And also in my last vlog, like I was crying over a thousand pound sisters, which I'm actually about to watch the next episode. Um, it aired, I think last night and I forgot to watch it. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna watch that. People were like, oh my God, Link, they don't even like you. I'm actually friends with them on Facebook and me and Amy have talked. Amy actually made like a parody about me years ago. And she apologized to me personally for it. Um, She's actually super freaking sweet. I love them both. I support them both and I love watching their journey. I wish them nothing but happiness and love and health. And honestly, it's like, even if they hated my guts, I would still support them and think those things and be attached to who they are as people because I watch the show. Like I'm not really that type of person that like holds grudges. Like I've never been that person, but genuinely I love them. I like them a lot and like there's no tea. It's nice to know that there is no tea. I think the sisters do deserve this. It must be hard for Amberlynn. People with the same audience are reaching their goals. She has not even been close to reaching hers in the last 10 years. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.